How much time does it take to execute a delay subroutine? Check up the execution time of all the instructions. Refer to the 8051 instruction set document. The move immediate to register instruction takes 12 periods. The DJN-Z instruction takes 24 periods. The return instruction takes 24 periods. This instruction move the immediate data. Hex FF to register R1. R1 becomes 255. That is the decimal value for hex number FF. DJ and Z decrement and jump, if not zero. Decrement R1 and jump to D1, if R1 is not zero. The value of R1 is 255. After decrement, its value becomes 254. Since R1 is not equal to 0, the system jumps to D1. And it runs the same instruction again. R1 is decremented by 1 again. Its value becomes 253. Since R1 is still not equal to 0, the system jumps to D1 again. The DJ and Z instruction is executed again. This instruction will continue to be executed. The value of R1 continued to be decremented by 1. After several cycles, the value of R1 becomes 1. The DJ and Z instruction will be executed one last time. R1 will be decrement to 0. Since R1 is 0, the DJ and Z instruction does not jump to D1. It will only jump to D1 if R1 is not equal to 0. The program continues to run the next instruction. How many times was the DJ? And Z instruction executed. It was executed a total of 255 times. The return instruction is executed one time. The first instruction has a period of 12 and was executed one time. The DJ and Z instruction has a period of 24 and was executed 255 times. The return instruction has a period of 24 and was executed one time. The total period taken to execute the delay subroutine is 12 plus 6120 plus 24. The total of 6,156 oscillation periods was needed. How much time is that? One period is equal to 1 over the system frequency. 
total time taken will be 6156 multiply by the period 